Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Jordan and today I'm here with a book versus the show and we are talking about Lovecraft Country. That's right, um, the novel by Matt Ruff as well as the show, the HBO adapted series, Lovecraft Country by none other than Misha Green. So yeah, let's get into it. This book review slash show review is not going to give away any spoilers, anything of that nature. I just wanted to talk about this because the show just wrapped up Sunday and I thought this would be a good time now since I've seen both the show as well as finished the book. So I could give you guys a good comparison to see why you should read one or watch the other and what were my general thoughts on both of them. So yeah, let's talk about what the whole Lovecraft is about. So both the show as well as the book, they are following several different characters as they navigate being black in America in the Jim Crow era, they do a lot of play on the Green Book or the Travel Guide, pretty much which is a guide that allows you to know what places are safe to stop or not stop um, while being black. All of this is going along, but so is the world of magic, so to speak, um, where there's monsters, there's time traveling, there's haunted houses, there's all sorts of galore and galactic experiences that are happening throughout. Um, what I did think was interesting and pretty cool concept on both ends um, is the way that the book as well as the show emphasizes that even though there's all these monsters and all this magic and all this crazy stuff, that is not the imminent threat. The real threat is just racism, period. So I thought that was pretty interesting and cool, especially given H.B. Lovecraft's history of being a racist. Also, what I thought was interesting is the fact of the book was written by a white man. I was a little bit like, I don't know. <laughs> but I thought the book actually moved around or around pretty cool. The short stories, they were very engaging and they were interesting and they really could have been their own little standalone um, stories. Even though they're kind of all connected, the characters kind of overlap, they're definitely standalone short stories. Um, I actually started the book before I watched the show. I didn't finish the book before finishing the show. But I will say that this book, to me, I gave it three stars. I started it and then once the show started and I hadn't finished the book, I was kind of like, oh, I don't really have any interest. I'll just stop here and watch the show. It was actually the show and how engaged I was with the show that made me want to go back to the book and finish it out, which I think is a testament to the show. Um, the book itself, I gave three stars. I thought it was strong. I thought it was cool. Some of the characters, I felt like there could have been more probably done with them, as well as specifically Ruby. I was kind of like, oh no. And Hippolyta, I was kind of like, oh no. Um, in the book, but in the show, I think what they did with Hippolyta, they took that character to a thousand and ten. Um, I think Misha Green did amazing, took so many amazing liberties. Um, some of them were hits, some of them were misses, which we'll get into a little bit later um, on some of the areas that I think the show didn't do as good of a job. But I feel like the show really brought to life that black experience and that black flair in the sense of having the visuals. A lot of the visuals were so powerful, having a lot of the song selections and choices, just the way that it was adapted, I feel like it took the book to a next level, which I think shows or adaptations should do. I also thought some of the liberties as far as their storylines, it was cool that it was um, switched up a bit, but in some cases we even got completely new characters that were not in the book. So if you're going in thinking, if I read the book, I'm going to know what happens in the show, you are not. <laughs> You're going to know certain details. I think the show doesn't explain certain things that kind of, if you haven't read the book, could make it confusing for the viewer. And the book will give you more context. But the actual direction that these characters are going to take in the plot, the book is not going to help you with that because Misha Green going to do whatever she wanted to do and switch it up on you. And in some of those instances, I think there were wins, but towards the end of the series of the show, I will say I started to lose a little interest because some of the liberties started to get to the point where it was like, really, this wasn't as drawn out as I think the book was. So we could have just kept the same direction. Um, but, you know, here I am sitting on the couch watching, giving my little two cents. <laughs> 
But the first few episodes, I mean, there were some of them that definitely have to be up for Emmys. I mean, they were like crazy, amazing productions, things that I will not get in my head. They could be movies where I could rewatch them. Yeah. That being said, some of the characters that were added to the show, I felt served no purpose. One of the areas that pissed me off, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, pissed me off for real, for real, was what they decided to do with Yamaha's character. They had me invested in a character and they did completely unnecessary, heinous violence towards that character. Pissed me the hell off. And what made it worse was this was a two-spirit um, character. They didn't get to identify their own um, pronouns for themselves, but they could have been non-binary or trans and just knowing the violence against those people in real life these people in real life and for it to just be in the show and it almost not serve any pr purpose but to be like almost like trauma porn in a way didn't feel it didn't like it I was keeping up trying to see how other people felt about this and Misha Green actually did acknowledge and say that she felt she handled that poorly. Like that was a miss on her end. She was trying to highlight the injustice and all of that, but the way she handled it was clearly poorly done and poorly executed. That's why it's important to have diversity on your set um, when you are telling stories of other, you know, um, pretty much marginalized communities. That's why it's important. So it kind of just shows like, you know, sometimes you're trying to highlight oppression of others but you're not doing it with care or with the same kind of eye that would be needed um but in other areas like certain characters that were added I felt like added a lot to the story so overall I think Misha Green's adaptation and kind of her creative liberties were a win for the show for me and is what made the show so spectacular especially Hippolyta I cannot emphasize that enough what they did with Hippolyta's character wow. amazing beautiful love it five stars <laughs> on that what they did with Tick's character we not gonna get into I wasn't feeling Tick <laughs> I wasn't feeling Montrose I wasn't feeling a lot <laughs> but we're not gonna get into those you don't have to like the characters to feel like they still portrayed their character really well um so yeah because even Miss Braithwaite Daenerys first of her name she she was killing it I thought she did a great job playing that character um and I didn't like her so yeah all in all I'm getting all over the place and we're not going to get into the nitty-gritty but do I recommend the show absolutely I do recommend the show I gave it three and a half four stars the first few episodes amazing it starts teetering towards the end of the season for me that was my opinion the book I think Honestly, the only reason why I read the book was because I was watching the show, but I think it is a solid book. So three stars, that's kind of like if you want to and if you're interested, yes. If you are you watch the show, I do think it's cool to see what the, sh the book actually had for a lot of these characters. So that's my little two cents on the book versus the show. I would love to know your thoughts if you read the book or if you watched the show or if you did both. What were your thoughts and what did you think? I'm still reeling a little bit on how the show ended um, in the sense of I don't know if we're getting another season. It could go either way, but we'll see. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, bye. <laughs>